So my name is Noel Miranda. I'm assistant professor at the Leiden University Medical Center in the, in the Netherlands. Well, I anticipate that TCR sequencing will be a, a fundamental tool um, for us to optimally develop uh, uh, T-cell-based immunotherapies. Uh, currently, we have very poor control um, on the T-cell therapeutic products that we develop. Uh, those are based on an uh, uh, expansion of T-cells that are taken from the patient. And uh, when we expand those T-cells, there's an unbiased proliferation of tumor-specific T-cells, but also bystander T-cells. And we have very poor control on the, on the outcome of that expansion. So you can have products that have very few tumor reactive T cells, which would not be good products. Also T cell products that don't have enough uh, diversity in terms of T cell clonality. And with TCR sequencing now, we can actually uh, 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 fingerprint this process and have good control on what's going on. So uh, in, in, we have a, a retrospective cohort uh, of individuals uh, with melanoma that have been treated in the past uh, with adoptive T-cell transfer. And in those patients, we had different outcomes where patients responded uh, uh, or not to therapy. And we, we, we have applied TCR sequencing uh, uh, to look back uh, in the tissues from those individuals uh, to try to find a basis for the response or the lack of response that has occurred uh, uh, to see if we can learn something going forward, forward in terms of uh, improving T-cell uh, uh, therapies. And it has been very useful for us to get insight uh, um, on the dynamics uh, of uh, tumor cell uh, uh, destruction by T-cells, but also gain insight on, on the quality of T-cell products that were applied uh, in the past, and we will we learned uh, a couple of lessons that will be very important going forward. 